Hi, my name's Harriet Agahome and I spoke to Patrick Kingsley at the Frontline Club. How important is it to have specialist migration correspondence? Uh, well, I think it's been really important over the last year. Um, I was appointed in March 2015 when my boss had the foresight to realise that migration or refugees or the refugee crisis was going to be something pretty big in the year to come. Um, but I don't think we realised how massive a story it, was, it, would, it would turn out to be. Uh, and I think, thank God, that we did have a, someone specialising in it, whether it was me, it's sort of beside the point, but it was really useful, I think, for the organisation to have someone they could always send to flashpoints, be it in the Mediterranean or in the Balkans or in the Sahara. So we focus just in the media mostly on the journey across the Mediterranean, mm -hmm. whereas these people that are making that journey, that very dangerous journey, have already made arguably a far more dangerous journey uh, in the previous um, uh, few months. And so it's really important to understand that there's two parts of the journey and that it, just by focusing on the second part of the journey is not really going to be an effective policy because uh, they have gone through far more dangerous things and if they're prepared to go through the desert and risk starvation, dying of thirst, getting kidnapped, getting um, attacked by bandits or what have you, they're probably not going to be that deterred by the sea itself and so policymakers should really bear that in mind. So recently or today Cameron has said that he always backtracked and decided to take in um, unaccompanied minors from Europe. Is it too little, too late? Uh, well, I think there's two things here. The first is that he hasn't actually put a figure on it, has no, he? No, not yet. Well, I mean, then you might as well not bother. But um, this, the second thing is, like, let's say he did take 3,000 people, as was being proposed last year. That would be great for those 3,000, but let's not kid ourselves that this, this changes the complexion of the crisis and it is, it is a... Um, long-term solution. I mean, it, you have to be talking in terms of like hundreds of thousands of people being resettled just after, just like we did after Vietnam when you know the Western world took 1.3 million people. We have to be talking in terms of like hundreds of thousands that were uh, resettled after the Balkans. Um, you know, taking 3,000 is great for those 3,000. It's really important for those 3,000, but it's nowhere near enough and we shouldn't pretend that would be a victory even if he had agreed to it in the first place.